I'm sure you have heard about the incident in Las Vegas. It was terrible. More than 50 people dead and more than 500 injured. We Muslims feel really sorry. Like we feel sorry when we think about the lost lives in the Middle East every day. I have a few things to say. I know that this guy is not a Muslim, right? I don't know his religion. I don't know if he is an Christian or is a Jew or an atheist. So this time, media will not be able to put the blame on the Muslims. Well, what should we do as Muslims? The same thing that people have done in the past? Should we act in the same way like it was on 9-11? Like somebody kills someone, on the top of that he's a Muslim? Oh, okay, and Islam is a religion of terrorism. Should we act in the same way in this situation? Oh media, should we manipulate the people in the same way as you have done it and are still doing it? Should we say, hey, this guy is an atheist. All atheists are like him. They are curial monsters. They are able to kill more than 50 people without blinking an eye. Oh hey, he's a Christian. All Christians are like him. They have no mercy. They kill everyone who crosses their path. Is this the way we should behave? Of course not. Thank God, not everyone thinks like that. But what about the other part? Who started the first world war? Muslims? Who started the second world war which caused 40 million lost lives? Muslims. Who killed about 20 million of aborigines in Australia? Muslims. Who sent the nuclear bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Muslims. Who killed more than 100 million of Indians in North America? Were they Muslims? Who killed more than 50 million of Indians in South America? Who took about 180 million of African people as slaves and 88% of them died, were thrown overboard into the Atlantic Ocean? Were they Muslims? No, not Muslims. Please don't forget Bravik, who killed 77 people in the name of Christianity. And the list is too long to mention. Please stop blaming Muslims for every single incident. Just stop it. Terrorism has no religion. If someone makes a mistake, you can't blame his family or organization he's a part of. Or the profession he has studied, you can't blame. A single example. You read the headlines, it says, a white Christian guy who works as a butcher killed two people. Can you assert that every white Christian guy on this entire world who works as a butcher is a curial killer? Can you say that? It sounds pretty stupid, huh? That's too exaggerated and far-fetched, just unrealistic. That's what some people would probably say. Exactly. That's exactly the point, bro. First of all, you will have to define terrorism properly. If someone does a mistake, you can't blame his religion or his skin color, his job or something else he's connected with. You don't have the right to do that. Killing innocent people is not about religion or skin color. It's about being human. And please don't forget, judging others does not define who they are, it defines who you are.